Even though Americans could start getting vaccinated in days, people who get the shot will still have to wear masks until scientists can answer a key question. ABC 10 News reporter Derek Stahl is going in depth to explain the concern around vaccinated people potentially spreading the virus. The clinical trials by Pfizer and Moderna showed the two vaccines were 95% effective. But what that really means is they were 95% effective at preventing COVID-19 symptoms. The trials did not measure whether vaccinated volunteers got infected without symptoms. So it is possible and conceivable you could get the vaccine, be protected, your health is going to be fine, you're not going to get sick, but you still could get an asymptomatic case, pass it on to your grandmother and kill her. Both the Pfizer and Moderna vaccines are injected into the arm muscle to stimulate antibodies. And from there, the antibodies can quickly get to the lungs to fend off severe infection. But experts say the antibodies may have less access to the nose and the throat, the primary entry points for the virus. Some studies have suggested that people without symptoms can still have high enough levels of coronavirus in their nose to infect other people. Dr. Christian Ramers is with Family Health Centers of San Diego. So the vaccine is doing something to prevent disease. We don't really know yet if it prevents transmission. So we've got to fall back on all those fundamental things like uh, distancing, masking, and washing hands. Still, experts say there are encouraging clues that vaccinated people may be less contagious, like a study in October that found antibody levels in the blood were similar to levels in saliva in the mouth. Until we know more, doctors say vaccinated people will have to keep wearing masks, potentially until we reach herd immunity. There's modeling to suggest that it will be next summer until we reach the point where there's enough people vaccinated that this curve of new cases really starts to go down. There's a chance we could get some good news before then. Both Pfizer and Moderna say they'll start testing their volunteers' blood to see if they got infected after vaccination. Moderna says it'll take several weeks to produce results. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. AstraZeneca conducted its trial a little differently and had volunteers regularly test themselves for signs of an asymptomatic infection. The company said early data shows that its vaccine reduced infections, but it has not revealed those details yet.